hello everyone so welcome back to this new video and in this video our duty is to start working on the icon picker you have already know that we have finished all kinds of customization related to our account number suffix and title just we will now need to make the icons editable so to make the icon editables we need an icon picker so that our user can pick any icon as per his needs so you can use any kinds of uh, icon icons library like photos of icons material icons or any other icons if any you can create icon uh, library for your custom icons so but in this uh, tutorial i will use bootstrap icons if you search for the bootstrap icons you will get all of these bootstrap icons are available here so i will just discuss about how the process with some icons i will not uh, list all of these icons inside our custom uh, icon picker because you can add these icons as per your need and you can remove whatever you want you can do this so uh, by default we don't have any icon picker and uh, good and bad components so we have to create a custom component for this area so if you go to your editor and you will find out there is a utility folders and inside this utility folders we will create uh, our custom components so or you can create a, a folder inside the source for a folder like it can be our components like this one so inside this component folder so we'll give all of our components custom component like the icon pickers so i want to create an index.js that will be our imports for all of our custom components so let us create our first custom component and that is our icon picker like this icon picker so let us try to create an index.js for the second picker like this one so we have to create a custom icon makers component so it will be our functional components so it is very simple give a name of this variable like icon picker i think you have already know about all of this because i have discussed about how to create a custom component in gutenberg so you can check out my previous old videos about it and I think you will get a clear concept about it. So, by default, we want to get district a simple also like it can be on level. So, sorry, this will be our function, and it will return some information like we can call it our. Uh, I mean, this you can call the class like CTR. CTR icon picker like this one. So I just want to pass a level here. It can be our on a normal level, so like icon picker. So you can level. So we will search for this level like this one. So it is searching for HTML file and an ID. It can be our icon picker. Sorry, this one. So finally, have to export this devil icon picker. And you can see now it is a functional component and we can use it in our Gutenberg blocks. But there is no faker uh, right now, but we'll develop it wow, gradually. So don't worry about it. I just want to print some uh, level and check out it is working or not. So we have exported this from here. Now we have to import in our endpoint like here. So export default as I can pull. I can pick a like this one so we are just exporting uh, this icon picker 
uh, from the components endpoints. We can also use it or not. That is not a problem. Even you can uh, simply remove this one. That will not problem. It will also work fine. No worry. So if you want to use this one for our area, like inside our editor.js, we want to use this one. So first we have to import this one. We can call it our external dependencies. Sorry, hmm. or internal dependencies, internal dependencies, and it is our icon picker like this one. So we have to first import the second picker from the icon picker in this dot jazz. Now, if we simply print it here, like I want to just close and want to take a new panel body, it can be our icon people like simply give the title we can call it icon picker we will replace it later just we need to create this one and finally we will replace it to this area like uh, where this at uh, this area so this is our icon picker we can initially open draw and I want to keep it Pause temporary. That's it. Now, if we call the custom component, we have to pass approach like level. We can call it select icon like this one. So everything is fine. If we now run our npm and check out this area, like check out. And you can see this is our select icon level that is coming from our custom uh, i mean this custom component so it is working fine so let us try to pick some icons here like i want to add some icon error icon or uh, it can be some icon like this one so first i want to add this one if you click you will get our svg i want to use svg format so I'm going to copy. So we need to create an icons like icons.js. It will be an array like icons. So it will be an object. So we can call it geo. Like and kind of geo. This is our handler. And we are passing this as region for this area. So we have to change this class name. That's great. That's where we have an icons uh, object, and inside this icon object, we have a property called zero that will replace uh, represent this as region. Let us try to add uh, some more icons like. Uh, like here it can be a wall this wall so wall. so similarly you have to replace this class then so adds uh, about four items some way So you can see I have added it for icons to her 0, 1, 2, and 3. I need to export to this one like this so that we can simply import and use it. So now our main tux is started here. So this is our component and so this component we have to uh, uh, pass our options for the second picker. Uh, like uh, if I check out all of this, I mean import or I can pick us like import icons fonts. So if you want to run to the map function, so we have to run this map function based on this object key. So it will be like object uh, object case and icon so this is icons and it will take the keys of this object and it will run the map function like this one 
like a red one, single click on it. So if we print all the print, so it can be icons or you can print simple icons to check out what is happening inside here. If we save and run this one, then I will get some information inside this area. And you can see I did 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 3. That is 4, uh, I mean, this property for this object. So if you want to frame to the icons, you can simply do it. So how can we do this? I can calls icons and pass the property for this icon. So then it will replace zero will be replaced with this feature. Like if you refresh to see, and you can see yes, it is now working fine.